I am sure that that hospitalization had something to do with then pregnanting me with the desire to become a doctor. Uh, and by the time I was 10 years old, I knew I was going to be a neurosurgeon. I did uh, some um, pretty innovative work with uh, uh, blood vessels and blood flow and had actually uh, received um, a prize from the Neurosurgical Society for the most uh, significant contribution by a, a resident. I had a number of offers to become chairman somewhere else. I've, I've wanted to be a chairman because I wanted to train my own residents, make an imprint on their life. And I was uh, in the process of accepting a chairmanship uh, in New York at one of the universities. When John Green who was at a meeting in Boston uh, had sent me a request to see him during that meeting an afternoon and he explained that uh, Barrow was looking for a new chairman and whether there was any interest on my part and if there was to come on out and visit. Barrow at that time was a relatively small institution, academically not very active. Um, John Green was uh, an incredible gentleman, and I didn't have the heart to say no. When I went back and talked to my wife, uh, Nancy, about that I was going to take a little trip to uh, Phoenix, she said, well, if you go there, you go by yourself, because she remembered driving through Phoenix at the age of 10 in an unair conditioned car in the middle of July. I wasn't really... Um, that happy in New York. Uh, I liked open space uh, better. And I considered this to be a very unique, challenging opportunity. When you're operating on the brain, it's, it's an incredible responsibility to the patient that's on that table. And so one, once you're in that zone, there's really no lack of focus. There's, um, you can go for hours and hours without uh, feeling exhausted. Um, but every neurosurgeon sort of uses something to balance um, that tension-filled period. Uh, for me, it's uh, physical exercise. Uh, I do a lot of biking. I do uh, a lot of uh, skiing. I do horseback riding. My own philosophy has always been that I want to teach residents who absolutely want to be neurosurgeons. They have to have a passion. It can't just be a job. They have to have a passion for it. The biggest honor was when uh, Nancy accepted my proposal. Um, I, I, there is, there is uh, one honor that um, is, is the highest that you can receive from our professional organizations and that's to be honored guest of the Congress of Neurological Surgeons. Uh, I was the youngest to have ever received that honor uh, way before my time. A lot of it had to do naturally with serendipity. But I think um, the biggest honors is always when I get a letter or a hug from a patient's family that they have appreciated what we have done for them.